Hey everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady and today we have a very special video for you. We are at the gardens of southeastern North Carolina preparing for our grain to oven experience. So everybody introduce yourselves. I'm Emily Arrington. Mary Deal. I'm David Johnson, the local pizza expert. <laughs> and we did this last year. I think this year is going to be even more epic because we, we already know kind of what to do. So today we are doing a dry run in preparation for the upcoming experiences. You can click the link in the description to learn more and save yourself a seat because I think these are all going to sell out because it is really the most fun that a person could possibly have. <laughs> all right. So stay tuned to watch our entire process from start to finish. Pop off the head and throw it in the bucket. Yeah. This is as efficient a way as you can get to harvest grain. Well, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Other than the great invention of the combine. Yeah. <laughs> Before the combine, this is the way we did it. got a drill and a long rod and then the chain on the end that goes into the bucket and we'll ultimately thresh the seed out of all the chain. So this is such an exciting process. I'm so glad we're doing this trial run. Uh, just like at my house, it's been cool and damp and the grains are drying, but they're not totally dry yet. And that is posing some challenges for the threshing and winnowing process. But I have full confidence that by the time these grain to oven experiences are held in two weeks, the grain will be sufficiently dried and the the uh, threshing and winnowing process will be without any trouble. And we're doing it successfully right now. It's just taking a few more passes than it normally would. And that is exclusively because of the moisture content. So, um, you know, the climate definitely plays a role in basically any seed in ripening and drying out. And this year, we just aren't on the schedule that most of us North Carolinians are used to. And you can see here where we're just getting the last couple of buckets winnowed sufficiently to make sure that it's really just raw seed that will ultimately go into the grinder so that we can make our flat dough pizza bread. Look at how long that takes to stand in your lap. It's great. Fresh 
get that flour. That might sound enough. That's a lot. That's a lot. All right. So now we're gonna. I think we want it not on course. So this is why we do run throughs because we had it set on course and actually the bread setting is definitely the best setting. See how that looks like flour that everybody's used to interacting with. So now you are going to make a flatbread pizza dough. <laughs> and remember this was just raw wheat in the field like 20 minutes ago. This is amazing. Somebody has some experience making homemade pizza crust. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> so we're at the stage of topping the pizzas now. Oh my gosh. And then they're going in the oven. Wait, do we have an uh, we have one that's out, right? Yes. I hope you'll be inspired by this video. I have put the uh, links in the description that you can sign up and join us for one of these authentic green to oven experiences down here at the gardens of Southeastern North Carolina. Also Johnson Nursery in Willard, North Carolina. It is an experience like no other. You go out to the field, you interact with that wheat, you bring it in. Ultimately you get to eat what you've just harvested. And I can tell you firsthand, these pizzas are delicious. So I hope that you will plan to join us this, uh, this month in June at one of the many grain to oven events that we are hosting. As always, thanks so much for watching everybody.